Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Ajar Productions, and in this video I'd like to show you one way to make an interactive timeline. Let's take a look at this example. Here I've got a site with an embedded timeline that scrolls. I can click on the content to reveal more details. And then when I get to the end, I would just scroll and see the rest of the content. This timeline might look complicated, but it's the combination of a few techniques that make this final result. Let's go to InDesign to take a look at how it's set up. I've got two files. The first is the actual timeline. It includes the bar and the months and the details and then buttons that reveal those details. Let's hide all of the content except for the January information. When I select it, let's take a look at the animation details. I've applied a fade in animation. I've set it to animate from the current appearance and I've selected hide until animated so that it doesn't appear until after the button is clicked. I've made an invisible button with an action to play the animation and I've gone back to the animation panel and made sure that the event is just on release, that it's not using the default on page load event. Then I added the same animation to all the other details and the same play action to the rest of the buttons. When I exported by going to N5, export HTML5 with N5 and saved, I used the slider horizontal page format. And then I also went to advanced and used desktop scaling, but I used fill height. And the reason I used fill height was that so that the timeline can be scrollable when it's displayed in a different aspect ratio. Click OK to export. Let's take a look. Now this is just the timeline itself. It's not embedded into another page. But you can see that because it's in a browser window that's larger than the size of that document, it's still scrollable. Now let's go back to InDesign and take a look at where we're embedding this. Here's the main page, and it's just another page with a rectangle. This rectangle has no stroke and no fill, and it's going to be where we embed the timeline. Let's go to N5, Interactive Widgets, Web Content. I've already got it selected here, but let's click on the button with the three dots and go to the output for the timeline. I'm going to select index.html for the timeline. Click Open. I need to make sure that Allow User Interaction is selected and that I can scroll the content. And let's close this and let's export. And we'll save it. And this time I'm still using the slider horizontal page format, but when I go to advanced, I'm using desktop scaling with best fit. And that way it'll scale the way I want in the browser. Let's click OK and take a look. And here we have the interactive timeline that's clickable and scrollable. Let us know in the comments how you would envision your own interactive timeline. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and be sure to check out N5 at n5.us. Thanks so much for watching.